Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to be chatting with you about the works of Archimedes. So um, in particular I want to discuss his quadrature of the parabola. Now he mentions three propositions in this section which he he, he doesn't actually prove. He says that these are proved in the conics, in the elements of the conics. And of course, there's no record of the elements, uh, the conic, the elements which, uh, the conics which are described in the elements. So, so what does um, what does Archimedes do then? He just simply states the propositions, and then he continues uh, from the fourth one to prove everything that he needs to prove. But if one is uh, first confronted with this proposition, it's actually very hard to understand why the proposition is true. So let's see what the proposition says. So this is what it says. It says, if from any point on this parabola, let's say a point P, right, a straight line PV be drawn, which is either itself the axis of this parabola or parallel to the axis as PV and if Q Q dash is a chord that's parallel to the tangent line um, then the length of QV will be equal to V Q dash okay and conversely if these two sections here are equal um, then, then of course, this uh, will be parallel to Q and Q dash V. And it's very hard to see if you're looking at this. And I've never actually seen a geometric proof. So I'm going to show you now for the first time a geometric proof, which is very simple, which you've probably never seen before. Well, which you haven't seen before, because I don't know if anybody else has ever come across it. So let's look at the proof. So what I've done here is I've reproduced so the proposition. So I said, okay, P is a point on the parabola, and this is a tangent line. And of course, it's given that this whole blue line here is parallel to this tangent line. It's also given that this line PV is either the axis of the parabola or parallel to the axis, right? And so now, we know, we know that if P is lying on the vertex, then we've got uh, we've got a situation where these lengths are equal, okay, and we can also draw the rectangles that meet Q dash, Q, G, and F on the tangent line, and then we know that if we move point P, as long as these stay parallel to the axis, and of course it's given that this is parallel to the chord, we'll always have that this section here is equal to this section, okay? And of course, um, we could also uh, draw another conclusion here. We could say that this line here, this line here, so if we had to draw a segment from here, from here to here, will always be equal to this segment, right? You see that? So he doesn't actually state that, but it's pretty obvious because the parallelograms are exactly the same. So you see, it's a beautiful proof, geometric, entirely geometric, very simple. And of course, if uh, one had to read it in the original uh, conics, elements of the conics, then uh, Euclid would have been very verbose about it. He would have said something. For suppose, uh, for suppose P, or he would call this something else. For suppose uh, X uh, were another point on the parabola with this line passing through X parallel to this line, and he would continue to draw the proof out as he normally does in very great detail to show that uh, the division of the line segments, these line segments, the 
blue line segments will always be the same. And it's pretty obvious because these are parallelograms and that's all there is to it. So it's actually not as complicated as you might think. All right, so what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to go through this and the rest of the proposition to show you how Archimedes um, actually found that if you draw a triangle in a segment of the parabola, then the area of the segment is four-thirds that triangle. And that's what he does in these propositions here. So um, it's a very beautiful proof, and uh, mainstream academics don't really understand it because they tend to think of it in terms of limits. And that's not how Archimedes did it. So uh, Archimedes says the segment, the area of this segment here is, is a third of the triangle okay of this triangle and the way he proves it is is quite ingenious so i'll go through this slowly and steadily <coughs> and then show you how all this works so he actually managed to find the area of the segment using geometry and and geometry alone and that's pretty much all i have to say for this uh, uh, video please Become a subscriber if you're not already a subscriber, spread the news. And uh, you can also thank me by donating currency and credits at my Odyssey site. So I'll give you a link to that in the details section. And of course, there is so much in the works of Archimedes that uh, I'd like to cover, but I probably won't get through it. In fact, there are so many things I'd like to do, but well, there are only things, there are only, there is only so much I can do in my current state. So, in any event, um, the works of Archimedes and Apollonius's Conics and Euclid's Elements are the greatest works ever produced. Um, there is still so much in there that many mainstream academics wouldn't be able to understand even professors of mathematics with phds and who've been at it for many decades because that's how advanced is a lot of this information so I'm leave it at that my name is john gabriel till next time this is a new calculus channel goodbye